Hey guys, so I'm uh, back out here. I just finished my endurance testing with this new motor. Put in um, two 4,000 milliamp three cells and I uh, went to see how long I could go and got the batteries drained down to about 3.8 volts and flew for maybe a touch over 40 minutes. I'm not sure, quite sure. I have to look at the footage, but it was a pretty long haul and um, I think you could probably get 40 minutes out of a smaller battery pack too just to uh, increase the efficiency of the wings. But what I'm going to do is give you a little little thrust test, a little power test of the new uh, 2836, 2200 kV motor I crammed in there with my uh, figure ESC. You can see I have this massive amount of um, open area in my nose here. That is an 1800 and then also down there is a rock about that size because uh, you pretty much with this new system in the back end you pretty much have to have about a 2200 all the way up in the nose to get it to fly right which is pretty much what I was looking for to counterbalance it so instead of a 1300 all the way up in the nose before it's a 2200 um, and it still floats around but this will be my first real like power on test trying to get an idea for the uh, the actual power I know when it was weighed way way down it had plenty plenty of power I mean I was flying below half stick uh, half throttle to get it to hover around with eight amps of uh, you know 8,000 milliamps of battery pack so with this much lighter system it's gonna be ugh, I gotta fiberglass this it's gonna be a lot um, a lot nicer but we'll get an idea I know I've taken this off from this location before but we'll see what the uh, what the real difference is here. Sure sounds a lot different. Now, I need to reinforce the uh, the wings. Oh yeah, that thing scoots way faster. Oh, I just saw a chunk of foam. Huh, hopefully that came out from when I was routing out the battery bay. Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Keep in mind, I'm maxing out at static. I was maxing out at 32 amps. Now, this motor's capable of 50. If I put a 7x4 on here, I'd be doing 55. So if I was doing, say, a 7x3, you'd maybe be in the realm of running like a 40, 45 amp ESC, and it would just be a freaking screamer. But like I said a bunch of times, I never really wanted this to be fast. I just wanted that extra weight. So this is 30 amps. <laughs> oh God, I just developed flutter in the wings. Okay, so watch out for that. I've never seen that before in this plane. This is uh, a frequency sensitive plane apparently because I just saw the wings basically wiggle back and forth at a real high frequency. Ooh, that's so sketch. Okay, definitely going to be getting that. I think it's four mil carbon rod. You can just cram right down the center of this stock carbon uh, spar. I'm going to do one more quick pass. Keep in mind, this is an upwind. i got about a probably six mile an hour wind or so. Oh my god. I hope you can catch that in the video, but that thing was fluttering before I even got to full throttle. So, uh, the plane's definitely not designed for this much power right off the bat. If you stiffen up those wings, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Or if you want a real fun plane, you can hack the tips off, stiffen them up, and have a nice little mess around plane. But definitely a nice, a nice power system for this. It's the 2200 KV 2836 uh, NTM motor. I mean, you don't need this to go any faster than that, realistically. Um, and it's going to have plenty of power for hauling around FPV gear. But, yeah, so this motor, 
seems like a pretty sweet one. You could go lower KV and swing the 7x4 that came with it, but that prop, honestly, I hate that thing. Um, okay, both flaps still work. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I didn't break anything with that flutter. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I think this is a really nice, moderate system. Um, I mean, it's, it's not moderate, it's moderate with a 6x4. You put a 7x3 on there, or a 6x5.5, and you've got a screamer. Absolute screamer. Still got the float. It's not too heavy. You can run a fairly normal battery. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is a nice a nice way to do it. You could obviously do a little bit lighter motor, but um, I kind of like the ability to sort of load this thing up. You know, I'm going to do one more ballistic pass. I know I've got it left in the battery. I'll try to do it on the inside of me. Oh, <laughs> shaky, shaky. All right, I'm done. Dad wins, sinky sink. No! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you um, enjoyed this modification, and um, it gets the Don seal of approval for uh, people to do it. You know, I was putting the videos out before I tested. I'm confident in the NTMs. I'm confident in this ESC. I know some are getting issues. I think it's just a manufacturing fault, but the early ones were good, and I'm sure the future ones will be good. But, you know, if you're afraid of this ESC, I, I would understand. You could obviously go to a 30 amp plush. But um, this is a pretty good setup. 6x4, 28, 36, 2200 kV NTM. About a $17 motor, $15 to $17 motor. And uh, a good modification, as long as you don't want the super, super light stock setup. Which um, works fine for me, but I want to be able to load some stuff up. So if you, uh, if you enjoyed this, or if you want to do this to your plane, follow my links in the description and uh, purchase through that. That'll help me, help me out in the future with purchasing uh, more products from Hobby King and, uh, and hopefully keeping these videos going. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.